The way a Glock handgun is supposed to work, you pull the trigger once and a single round is fired. But this case out of Oakland County is highlighting how a simple switch can take a handgun and turn it into a machine gun. It's called a Glock switch, and as the name would indicate, it switches a standard handgun into something else. As a switch, it would just snap onto the gun uh, and change it from the semi automatic mode to a full auto. Or, in very simple terms, it turns a weapon into a machine gun. And the recent arrest of Emmanuel Gates in Pontiac highlights how these switches are arriving here. It's something that criminals are aware of. There's a dark net and different places where they buy different things. In the case of Gates, who is facing federal charges of unlawful importing of a firearm, it also shows how law enforcement can fight back with federal jail time. We have an ongoing partnership with the FBI and the Violent Crime Task Force, which is based on Oakland County campus. And then we have a, a very strong partnership with the ATF to go after people that are using stolen guns or using parts illegally to alter the effectiveness and the rate of fire of guns. According to court documents, Gates, who was affiliated with the gang, would buy the switches from a Russian website and have them shipped over in a package labeled Spare Lawnmower Parts. The issue is a gun owner needs a federal firearm license to own and operate a gun conversion switch. This is illegal um, with no additional laws needed. It's already an illegal item to have on your gun. Federal agents seized a package allegedly making its way to Gates with 20 such devices inside. It has a standard back plate here uh, and it has a sear on the inside of the gun which stops this gun from uh, firing more than one round at a time as the trigger is pulled. Law enforcement says it's far too easy for criminals to get their hands on these devices and far too dangerous once they're used to commit crimes. Let us know they can do it anonymously because in the end they end up hurting the community where they land. And law enforcement says they tracked Gates from July of 2020 to October 2021, building their case for federal court, finding that he made numerous purchases from this Russian website. He's now awaiting his day in court in federal court. Reporting live in Oakland County, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Dave, two questions. What's a typical sentence if convicted on this federal charge? And, and how easy is it to, to access this through that website? Yeah, apparently it's it's way too easy, and that's the problem. That's why law enforcement is hoping that if, if you have information about how people are getting a hold of them, that you can make those anonymous calls. And to answer your first question, typically if somebody is convicted of that uh, crime of unlawful purchase of a firearm, it's uh, the federal sentence is 10 years in federal prison.